All right, here we go, cycling your tank in a short video. What you're going to need. Your aquarium. Filtration that is at least double the size of the aquarium volume. And bonus, you can sometimes buy preceded media and that's really gonna help speed up your uh, cycling process. Reliable thermometer. Your API freshwater master test kit. Um, your prime because chlorine can kill your bacterial colony and your ammonium chloride preferably dr tim's a heater will speed things up though i did uh fast cycle my 40 gallon breeder without any additional heat uh, and bottled bacteria is also optional it is a um, hit and miss method to speed things along so some tips about the things that speed it along uh, make sure that your uh, preceded filter comes without snails and or you will need to be removing snails before you add your oxalotl. Um, your, if you, you buy bottled bacteria, you need to buy the most recently made bottled bacteria, the one that's been sitting the least long. Okay. So set up your aquarium on its stand, fill it up, add as much decor as you can, though it's not necessary to have it all there. Add your substrate if you're using, but not any sand for an oxalotl under five inches. Test your water source with the API kit uh, to find out what your starting values are. Take a picture, keep that value. Um, fill the aquarium with water and treat with Seachem Prime. You can add it to your aquarium at that point. Uh, fill it full. Uh, you will always need Prime when cycling is started the first time it, it's optional. Add your heater if using. Um, you do need to do a real slow temp drop at the end if you are going to use the heater. Add your filter um, or your preceded media. Make sure you drip acclimate. I've got a guide coming for that. Within 24 hours of setting up your filters, add a double dose of the uh, beneficial bacteria and then only add your um, ammonium chloride to two ppm at that point. Uh, after that, you can start dosing to 4 ppm until you're getting your whole cycle going. If you are using uh, beneficial bacteria or cycled media, um, do wait until about 15 minutes after it's added to add your ammonium. Okay, so this is part two of cycling your tank. So the first part was basically set up and what you're going to do that very first day. So the first day, just to recap, you put everything in, you go ahead and acclimate any preceded filters, and within about, um, you wait 15 minutes, but about 15 minutes later of adding any beneficial bacteria, you go ahead and dose your ammonia to 2 ppm. Then every day you are testing your ammonia, um, and you just go ahead and dose it back up to 2 to 4 ppm. Um, and then when it's significantly coming down, you wanna go ahead and trust your nitrates and nitrites um, and start watching and testing all three every single day. Again, adding more ammonium chloride back up to the two to four PPM mark. And when you're going from say two PPM to zero PPM, that is definitely you wanna start going up to four PPM. There's a couple different ways to do it. Um, some people go straight up to four PPM and try to get down from there immediately. I like to slowly go up, um, but I actually usually get pretty fast um, cycles because I always have established media. During this time, there are no water changes um, unless your nitrates go above 100 ppm, and um, some people would say off the charts, but sometimes it's getting, it's real hard to get it back onto the charts, so I do after 100. Um, also, if you're using the beneficial bacteria, uh, you double dosed on the first one and then two weeks after regardless of anything else you go ahead and add in another dose but you just do the single dose when your aquarium is going from 4 ppm to 0 ppm in 24 hours with zero nitrites for three days in a row your aquarium is considered cycled for an adult oxalotl at that point you want to do primed 50% water changes daily to bring your nitrates down to the 5 to 10 ppm range and then you can add in your oxalotl. There you go.